Uh, this is just going to be hopefully a very short um, little video on how to set up a parent or counselor role to track student progress um, in Moodle 2.7. This is done by setting up a new role that you're going to assign the, the uh, parent counselor or another teacher that wants to track the student from another school, for instance. And the way you do that is just go into Site Administration. And in there, there's a user section. And we go into permissions. We're going to grant certain permissions to this role. So we just have to define the role, first of all. And you do that by clicking on Define Role and then Add a New Role here. And the, the Use Role or Octave, there's no real role here. We're going to assign specific permissions to allow this um, person or persons to view just certain students. So we'll do that along the way. So just press continue here. And then we have to name the role. And this could be, you know, mentor, counselor, teacher in another school or parent or whatever, but um, uh, something appropriate. So giving it a particular, you know, useful name, we'll call this counselor or guardian because that's who we're going to assign this to. And, uh, you can put a description there if you like, uh, um, just to remind yourself. Now the context means um, where you're going to um, assign these rights to this person. And in this case, we're going to just assign it to users because we don't want them to have rights anywhere else in the system, not in courses or anything like that. So just the user. Now on this page, if we scroll down, we'll see there's just, a, you know, like, a hundred or so or more um, different rights that, that um, can be granted through the system. And what we're looking for here is the course category. You can use this vil uh, filter box here to um, kind of zero in where you're looking for. Um, this first capability we want to give is to allow parents or counselors to view the profile of the student. Because quite often students will have, you know, this is my likes and dislikes and that kind of thing. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put in, rather than just course, which will give you a whole bunch of um, things under the course category, I'm going to put in the actual um, uh, kind of rights so you can see exactly what they are in case you ever have to change them. So the first one is um, the user view details. And let's see if that comes up. And there we have it. So it's under the course uh, category, but it's user um, profiles and it's um, Moodle user view details and we'll set that to allow and that'll allow um, the counselor or parent to view the profile. Another one is um, user view all details. The last one was view details. The, the view details allows you to view you know the kind of the public student profile. This allows you to view all the details and again we'll set that to allow. Now those are, are, are kind of essential. There's a few that um, you may or may not want to use, like sometimes um, students have blogs and so you might want to view, um, you know, their, any blogs that they happen to have. That, that's an option that every student has on their profile. Very few seem to use it, but um, you know, that's another one, so we'll set that to allow. Another is uh, read user post, user and read user posts. Any forum posts that the user writes in a course, uh, you, you know, a counselor or parent may want to read uh, those just to see what the student is writing. Now that the, the um, user posts and the forum ones we just did, I mean, they're, they're kind of optional, but one that you really uh, need um, to do for sure would be view user activity reports. These would include, um, uh, you know, grades and logs and um, how often they've accessed courses. So that's that's kind of the main one that uh, of all the, the permissions we're giving. That that one is a for sure one. But some of the other ones are um, you may or may not want to, to do this. Um, and then the last would be edit uh, profile. So uh, if a counselor or parent um, saw you know, something the student was writing them by themselves and didn't think it was appropriate, they may want to go right in and edit the profile. Um, and uh, so we'll, we'll give parents and counselors the right to do that. Um, and then, you know, there are other ones there. You can kind of look at them and play around with them. But those are kind of the main ones. And so uh, we'll just say the changes in that role has been created. 
And you can see when we go into the defined role screen that um, hopefully right in the bottom there, it'll, yeah, there's the counselor guardian role. So um, we have a new role uh, that we can assign in the user contact. And that's about it. So now we've created this role, we can um, go about assigning particular students to particular counselors or parents or guardians. And we'll do that in another uh, little video here.